This is part one of the trusses subsection of the structural design section of our aeronautical engineering course. Here's a simple structure, about as simple as you can make a structure. It's just a triangle held up by two ropes with a 100 pound weight hanging at the bottom of the triangle. So if this triangle is, is symmetrical, in other words, everything on one side of this dotted line going up from our 100 pounds looks identical to the other side. If this is equal to that, same angle, then each rope is carrying 50 pounds. Okay, each of these two sections of our little triangle are in tension. In other words, they're being pulled like this these ropes they are also in tension tension means you're trying to pull something like that compression means you're trying to push it like a column so if we have 100 pounds of weight hanging here this member is lifting half of it this member is lifting the other half but the tension in that member is more than 50 pounds because it's pulling in this direction. Let's say this is a 90 degree angle and this is a 45 degree right triangle here. Okay, so if this member here is pulling up that way, what's well, vertical component is 50 pounds. Well, let's set a 45 degree angle here. So that's 45 this is 45, so its horizontal component is also 50 pounds. Well, the same goes for this one. It's pulling in this direction, so it's pulling up 50 pounds and pulling over to the left 50 pounds. Well, the horizontal component of this one, pulling to the right 50 pounds, balances out with the horizontal component of this one, pulling to the left 50 pounds, but the vertical component of this member pulling up 50 pounds is acting along with the vertical component of this member pulling up 50 pounds to give you a total pull of 100 pounds up, which balances out our weight here. A basic principle of physics is that an object is in translational equilibrium when the resultant external force acting on the object is zero. I'm sure that made lots of sense to you. Didn't make much to me the first time I read it. But the bottom line is the all the forces acting on this point right here add up to zero. This pull in this direction is an upward pull. It's a sideward pull. This pull in this direction is an upward pull and a pull to the left and this 100 pound weight is pulling down so this one's pulling 50 pounds to the right 50 pounds up this one's pulling 50 pounds to the left 50 pounds up the 50 to the left cancels out with the 50 to the right the 50 up plus the 50 up here equals the 100 down so the vertical components all added together add up to zero the horizontal components all added together add up to zero. Now let's look at these points. One will be the same as the other. They're identical. Okay, well this is a tension member. It's pulling up and to the right on this point, which means it's pulling down and to the left on this point. And likewise this tension member here Pulling up and to the left on this point is pulling down and to the right on this point. Okay, its vertical component is 50 pounds, which is balanced out by the tension in this rope, 50 pounds. The vertical component of this one, 50 pounds, balanced out by the 50 pounds tension in the rope. But each, this component and this component, each have a horizontal component of 50 pounds. So, this compression member here is in 50 pounds of compression.
also when we look at all the forces acting on this point we see that this member is pulling it 50 pounds to the right this member is pushing it 50 pounds to the left this member is pulling it 50 pounds down and this rope is pulling it 50 pounds up so everything balances out same goes for that one here's a little more complicated structure let's draw us a bridge okay let's see let's see that's a 90 degree angle these are 45s Okay, there's the top flange, there's the bottom flange. Let's say we have our same old 100 pound weight hanging from the middle of it. Let's say we have a bridge support right here and a bridge support right here. Okay, let's say our bridge is weightless. And the only weight we have is what's hanging from the middle. Well, if this is symmetrical, if that left half of the bridge looks just like the right half, then this bridge support is supporting half the weight, so that would be 50 pounds. And this right one is also supporting 50 pounds. Okay, let's look at this point right here. We have a 50-pound vertical force pushing on that point. This horizontal member here it has no vertical component. If someone's standing on a set of bathroom scales and you push him sideways, he'll weigh the same. If you push up on him, he'll weigh less. If you push down on him, he'll weigh more. But if you push horizontally, his weight won't change. He may have to push the wall to keep, from, to keep you from pushing him off the scales. But the scales will say the same thing he weighed before you pushed him. So... What I'm getting at is that this horizontal member here has nothing to do with this vertical component here. So the only way we can balance things out is if this member has a vertical component of 50 pounds down. So the vertical component of this would have to be 50 pounds down. Let's draw our little vector here. See, so it's pointing that way. It's pushing on this point well it has a vertical component of 50 pounds and since it's at a 45 degree angle here that angle there is 45 degrees well it also has a 50 pound push to the left okay so its vertical component is 50 pounds down its horizontal component is 50 pounds to the left so this member right here must pull this point 50 pounds to the right. So this member would be 50 pounds of tension because it's pulling on this point. This member would be the resultant vector of 50 pounds left and 50 pounds down since it's a 45 degree right triangle it would be 50 times the square root of 2 pounds or 70.7 .7 pounds let's now look at this point okay we've already determined that this segment of our bridge is in 70.7 .7 pounds of compression it has a so it's pushing up and to the right on this point, pushing that way. It has a vertical push of 50 pounds. It has a horizontal push of 50 pounds. Well, this member here on top is a horizontal member, so it has no vertical component. So the vertical component of this zigzag here has to balance out the vertical component of this zigzag. Well, this one's pushing up 50 pounds, so this one has to pull down 50 pounds. This one's in compression, pushing on this point. This one's in tension, pulling on this point. So let's just draw this point right here. Okay, there it is. We 
we got 70.7 pounds pushing that direction which is we could erase that and we could call it 50 pounds up and 50 pounds over one or the other either call it a up 50 and a right 50 or call it a 70.7 .7 that way okay well we have this member we haven't determined what it is yet but we know that this one has to pull down 50 to balance the up that this one is pushing up 50 so it is also a 70.7 .7 pound member except it's in tension you just write a T there and write a little C there this one's in compression this one's in tension okay so this one's pulling down 50 this one's pushing up 50 but each this one and that one they're each pushing 50 to the right on this point which means this member has to be pushing 100 to the left and if it's pushing on this point it's in compression so let's try to write on this small picture 100 C, it's 100 pounds, not 100 kilograms or 100 ounces. We're just leaving off our pounds because we don't have enough space here. And let's just write what this one is. This is 70.7 .7 tension, write T. I know that's not easy to read, but at least you heard me say it. Okay, let's look at this point next. Okay, let me go ahead and erase this. We'll use this. Well, we'll just write underneath it. Here we go. Okay, this point right here. There it is. Okay, it has this member going down like that. It has this zigzag going like that. And it has that and that. That one and that one. Okay, we already know this is 70.7 .7 tension. Okay, these are horizontal members. They have no vertical component, so the vertical component of this zigzag has to balance out the vertical component of this zigzag. If this is 70.7 .7 pounds of tension pulling up 50 pounds, this one has to push down 50 pounds. So it would be another 70.7, .7, except it's in compression. Okay, this one's pulling up. Okay. We determined that this one was 50 pounds of tension. So this is 50, oops, T. Okay, this has a horizontal component of 50 in that direction. Both that and that are pulling this point that way, 50 pounds. This one has a horizontal component of 50 in the left direction, so that's 150 pounds. So this horizontal member here has to pull to the right 150 pounds. Okay, which means 150 tension because all of these are trying to make this point go to the left, this one has to pull it to the right. And if it's pulling on a point, it's in tension. If it were pushing on that point, it would be in compression, but it's pulling, so it's tension. So let's write 150T for that one. Okay, time's running short. We'll have to get back with the rest of this bridge in, our, in part two.